What's up, YouTube? It's the Console Samurai with Grown Ups Gaming. And once upon a time, we were able to actually go out and rent games. You could go to Blockbuster, Hollywood Video, or various mom and pop stores, um, which they generally didn't have very good selections, but you could go to these places and you could rent a game. And you could play it before you decided whether you would buy it or not. And then, as, as the PlayStation and the Xbox came out and gained more ground, we had magazines that you could pick up at the stores, and they had demo discs on them. And obviously, it was much more feasible on a CD because CDs were much easier to produce and cheaper. But then, as the PS3 and the Xbox 360 came out, we obviously moved on to online demos. But, truthfully, online demos are becoming rarer and rarer and rarer. Um, the magazines that had demo discs are gone. There's no demo discs anymore. Um, obviously, nobody is buying those. Everything has gone digital now. And Blockbuster and Hollywood are both gone as well. So we really don't have many choices with being able to rent a game. I mean, if we're lucky and the game we want to play has an online demo that we can download to our system, then, hey, we're okay. But a lot of times, we don't have that option. But thing, two announcements that came out actually are very good for, for the idea of being able to try a game. Gamefly, of course, we've always had Gamefly. Um, is looking at rolling out a new streaming service. And this service is very limited compared to what they have now or what it seems like they're trying to be. It seems like they're trying to be the new Netflix, but for gaming. And the new service that they're rolling out is going to be $7 a month. Sounds pretty good. For a bundle of 10 games that are not mix and match, there are six different bundles, and you have to subscribe to a bundle. And you're able to stream these 10 games. I don't know if they're going to change month to month, but they are bundled. You cannot mix and match. Now, with a new service, I kind of do understand them having very limited. That makes sense, but I do hope that it expands further. Now, before you get too excited, there is another downside to this. It's not coming to your console, and it's not coming to your PC. Currently, this service is only going to streaming devices, things like Roku, Apple TV, um, Amazon Fire TV, and maybe the PlayStation TV, I'm not really sure. But there is more, there is better news. Steam, the worldwide, world famous PC distribution platform, however you want to call it, um, has rolled out a new refund policy that I actually really, really like. They rolled out a policy that says if you play a game for less than two hours and you return it within 14 days, you say you don't like it and you apply for the return, they will give you a full refund. Now, I think this is amazing because, as I said earlier, we are very limited in where we can rent games. Yes, you can go to Gamefly, but currently you have to wait for it to be shipped to you. That's not really it's not really that, that great. And, you know, it takes a long time. And personally, I've had a lot of trouble getting the games I want. But the idea of Steam, which is a huge platform, allowing you now to buy a game, try it out, if you don't like it, return it within two weeks. That is, that's amazing. And you know, it, it is, I've seen a lot of people talking about how it's a bad thing, but I really don't see any downside to it. And I really hope that both, or that actually um, both PlayStation, Xbox, and also Nintendo pick this up because this is a great, this is a great refund policy for customer service. You know, this will definitely keep people buying your products if, they can try it and go, yeah, no, I didn't really like that one. I'm going to trade it in and I'm going to get 100% of my money back. As opposed to buying a game brand new off the shelf and bringing it to GameStop and getting $20 on a game that just came out a month and a half ago. But tell me what you think in the comments down below. Do you think that Steam's refund policy is a good thing? Do you think it's maybe a little bit overhyped? No? What, what do you think about Gamefly's new streaming service? Do you think it's ever going to come to consoles or PC? Tell me what you think in the comments down below. Once again, I am the Console Samurai, and I'll see you around.